My name is Milian Tadega. I'm the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences. My work involves understanding genetic interactions in plant development that focuses in four different but related areas. Leaf development, plant height, flowering time, and tiller number. I will try to describe each of these in, in simple terms. For leaf development, for example, we use various models. One of them is shown here in tobacco. The difference between this plant and this plant is just one gene. This is a mutant, this is a wild type. So that, as you see here in the mutant, the development of the leaf lamina, that one, is completely blocked. So we think that by manipulating the leaf size, we can make plants having even more or bigger leaves so that they can photosynthesize better and produce more biomass. Uh, so we would like to apply that into switchgrass to make these leaves thicker and flatter for better efficiency of photosynthesis. The other project deals with plant height. If you compare these two plants, for example, of switchgrass, this one is taller, the other one is shorter. So by increasing plant height, we want to increase total biomass production. The third aspect is controlling the flowering time. You see that these are half flowered. So if you inhibit this flowering, then plants invest more energy into vegetative growth so that they can produce more biomass. The fourth aspect is looking at the uh, tiller number. These are called tillers, these are individual plants. So in this case, we have fewer tillers compared with that one, which has more tillers. So the higher the number of tillers, the higher the biomass. So by increasing the number of tillers in selected varieties of switchgrass, we want to increase biomass. So in general, by combining these four developmental programs, which are interrelated, and by looking at the interactions between these pathways, we like to modify and manipulate in the end to produce more biomass for biofuels in switchgrass.